tutorial for you. Um, I haven't done one on this channel. I I did a couple on my old channel and I've done, I think I did one for my short hair on this channel but it wasn't very good and I might delete it because I look really vile in it. Um, this isn't the hair tutorial by the way. I'm going to be doing a sort of like retro-y curl for you. Um, it's the curls I have in most of my videos. In some of my videos it's sort of like second day curl so it's not as great but um, in this video I'm basically going to be showing you how to do that but they should look better because I'm doing it fresh and you'll see it like as it is. So um, I've noticed the Kardashians sort of um, do this a lot. It's just basically where the curls go away from your face and they just go one way and they sort of like blend in together. Um, so not like ringlets or anything like that. Um, I just thought, you know, why not? Um, I like doing my hair a lot, so I thought I'd do a hair tutorial. Um, I know there's millions out there of um, people showing you how to curl your hair, but I thought I'll throw in my, what is it? Throw in my two pence or something? One pence? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna do one for you. <laughs> right, so I'll get into it now for you, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do, obviously, is brush your hair. Um, I've been out like to college today so and it was quite windy and it's starting to sleet and snow a little bit so it's quite drizzly outside hence why the lighting might not be brilliant because it's really just drab outside um, then at this point you will want to use a heat protectant um, I ran out literally yesterday and I forgot to get some more in town so um, pretend I'm putting heat protectant on <laughs> I know it's naughty but I don't have any so I can't really do anything about it <laughs> Then you're going to want to section your hair off. Um, I do about three layers or two layers depending on what I feel like. But just section off little bits at a time. And I literally just tie, it up, tie the rest up on the top of my head. And then I bring it to the front. So to do this, I'm not using um, curlers or anything. I just use my hair straighteners. Um, these are GHDs. They're pretty manky. I've had them like four going on four years. I think they're about to like leave me forever because they're not getting as hot anymore. Um, my mum did hoover them up the hoover the wire up the vacuum cleaner a couple of years ago. <laughs> so um, I'm surprised they've still lasted. So what you want to do to sort of get your curl, what I, the method I do anyway, there's lots of different methods to use with hair straighteners, but this is just the way I've sort of learnt it. Um, get a piece of hair, not too thick and not too thin, and then um, you want to make sure you do it away from your face as opposed to into your face. So if you grab the piece, then you literally just turn it around the straighteners, and then I just pull it down the hair. and then twizzle it around your finger and you get a little curly whirly <laughs> so I do that with basically all of my hair and then I'll show you what I do to sort of get the more um, wavy retro-y sort of thing going on <laughs> I think GHGs personally are just sort of easier to use as opposed to um, <clears throat> curlers with curlers, I never really get the gist of them. <laughs> it, they really confuse me, and it makes me sound stupid. But I just get all in a conf all in a confuddle with them. So I just prefer to use straighteners. It's a bit, bit more straightforward. Um, now, if you are new to using hair straighteners or curling, it does take you a couple of times to um, get used to them. But once you're used to them, it's just easy peasy. Um, when I first started doing curls, I could not do them to save my life. It took me so long. I just, at some point, I started trying to learn, and then I just gave up because I couldn't do them. Um, but then, obviously, as I got older, I sort of just started and learned a bit better. It can be confusing, um, the direction when you change sides of your hair. It's pretty straightforward with this side, but with this side, you're a bit like... Blah, depending on what like hand you use to do the majority of your things. 
Sometimes the curl might go a bit flat or it might not come out how you want it. Um, just wait for it to cool down, make sure it's cooled down <clears throat> and then go over it again. Sorry I'm not looking at you, I'm trying to look in the mirror and do this. Do, do, do. Right, so there is your bottom layer. Then you want to take your hair down and section off another chunk. Sometimes I just do two layers, I don't, mm, shall I do two layers? Okay, I think I'm just going to do two layers today because... I feel like it. <laughs> if you have hair extensions, you don't need to worry about um, it not blending in. Um, with my top layer, what I do is I grab a chunk of hair extension and a chunk of my hair, put it together, and then um, curl it together, and it just sort of blends in. So you don't need to worry about it not blending in very well. Unless you have really, really short layers. I found when I did have my shorter layers that it didn't blend as well. But now my hair's longer, it is blending very well. So you get the gist, I'm going to turn the camera off and get on with the rest and then I'll come back to you. Okay, then once you're done, you will have something that looks a little bit like this. Might not look the same, I wouldn't worry. I'm sure it'll still look lovely. Um, then, um, with this hairstyle, the fringe is usually blended into the hair. If you have, like, sort of one of those fringes, then you don't need to, really. But um, I lately I've been sort of blending my fringe into my hair. So if you do have a fringe, just grab it and then you literally just do the same. Take it back and sort of twist the end slightly. And it will sort of make a little... I don't know, it won't make a curl but it will sort of flick like that. So you can just sort of blend it in like that. If you can see... Then the last thing you pretty much do is you wait, for, obviously wait for them to cool down properly, um, and then you just brush them through. Uh, brush them gently. Don't really like go at it, or else the curls will just like fall out. Now some of my extensions have come out, so my hair's not massively thick at the moment. But um, if you've got lovely thick hair, then this will just look divine. Then you can put any sort of finishing products on you want. Um, I have a frizz Frizzies Shine Spray here. I really cannot function in this video whatsoever. So you can just spritz that over or some sort of shine spray would look nice so it looks nice and glossy. I think the hair cutting fairies have come in my sleep or something. I do not recall my hair ever being this short. I don't really... Oh, there we go. Maybe that's a bit better. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I won't spray too much of that because it can sort of have a tendency to make hair a little bit greasy, um, especially near the roots, so just sort of focus it on your ends um, and it'll look lovely. Okay, then you can pop some hairspray on if you want, uh, make sure it's all in place where you would like it, um, and then just pop some hairspray on. I don't usually use hairspray that often, um, I find it stays in all day, I don't really need any hairspray. Um, so yeah. I recall this hair looking a lot better in other videos. I, it doesn't look that brilliant in this video, I don't know why. Um, but if you look at my other videos, I think it looks okay in other videos. I don't, I don't know what's happening today. I'm just bleh. So let me know if you like hair tutorials, if you'd like any more. If you have any specific ones you would like me to do, then just write them down below. Um, and I will do them for you. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye!